Hey there everybody, um, this is Mr. Provines, and today I have a very special episode for all of you. I've uh, decided to uh, continue some of my work regarding minecarts, and I will be showing you an interesting little system today. This system, by simply entering this minecart, will summon a minecart invisibly using pistons, um, bring it to your destination point, and then will uh, relay you to your destination, wherever it may be. Um, by simply entering the minecart. Um, I'm going to be showing you a slight tutorial. I'm not going to show you how to make the entire thing, but I will take a lot of it apart and allow you to see the inner workings of it. Fortunately, at this time, if I was to make a full tutorial on it, it'd probably take me close to an hour because it is quite complicated, but I really hope you all do enjoy it. Um, that all being said, I think we should get to it. Um, so the whole point and concept behind this is it allows you to make a... Uh, a little minecart station for a PvP server or for your base, or sorry, an SM PvP server um, that allows a lot of people to enter at any given time without ever causing congestion. You'll always have minecarts available. There's no buttons that need to be pressed. All they need to do ever is enter this minecart and enter the minecart you want to ride in. I'll give you a few examples of it in progress right here. So, I enter it. You gotta wait for about a second just because I have it so long. Minecart arrives. I enter the minecart. And it automatically t uh, departs. Um, Sorry for the lag there. Exit the minecart, hit the button, and it re-enters the station. So, um, the whole part with this going out is simply supposed to uh, represent uh, whatever track you may have, and this part's supposed to be the re-entrance, so it automatically puts back into the dispenser, so that part in itself is not terribly important. Um, I use a dispenser, I've shown in many other videos, um, but I'll, I think I'll go through it one more time just so everyone can see it, and then I'm going to start showing the inner workings of it. Again, the main part of it is the arrival and the departure. That's the really thing I want to focus on here. So, I enter this minecart. You can hear in the background the little click, click. Sorry for the lag. Minecart arrives. I enter it, and it automatically departs. Um, and this is just simulating the arrival. And then simply I exit, hit switch, and it re-enters the pest dispenser. So, many of you, I'm sure at this point, are wondering how this works. Well, there's quite a few steps to it. So. The way the minecart arrives is through right here. What happens is there's a piston underneath this block, and there's a piston on this block. Um, they are timed at different intervals, so this block is brought upwards. Sorry, there's a piston under this block, and a piston under this block. What happens is this piston is brought upwards, so the minecart that arrives on this block is brought up to here, and this piston pushes it forward on the powered rail, um, at which point is brought around and into the loading station. Now, as you can see, this rail is currently in a powered state. And the reason for that is, underneath this block right here is a, um, is a stone pressure plate, which only reacts to players. When you enter this minecart, you uh, pre activate the pressure plate. I'm going to show you the underneath this right now. Oops, fell down a little bit. So as you can see, there is um, a little bit of wire. Ooh, hello minecart. I accidentally activated you, didn't I? As you can see, there's some wiring underneath. Basically what happens is, when you sit in this minecart, it depowers this track. So, whoops. Um, it, uh, it's inverted, so it depowers that one track, basically allowing um, this to act as a brake. So when you enter the minecart that arrives here, it, you're no longer hitting on this pressure point, causing this mine track to, ret or mine, yeah, mine track to return to its powered state, boosting you off. Now, as you can imagine, uh, since I only entered this, it has to be doing about six or seven different functions, and I'll show you some of those now. Um, but for reference, it's activating a PEZ dispenser, and it's also activating two different pistons. So let's now go look at the inner workings of this thing. So, as you can see, all the arrivals are somewhat invisible. So, as we have down here, we have a PEZ dispenser that's hooked up to. So when I hit the pressure point, um, a minecart is released. And also, whoops... It's hooked up to two separate um, pistons that are on timers, and both the pistons are inverted to begin with, so they're in their uh, upwards position. Actually, that one shouldn't be inverted, but um, nonetheless, uh, the pistons are activated, um, pushing the block upwards and then forwards. This piston and this piston right here. Um, basically, what that does is um, when the PEZ dispenser is activated, the minecart runs along the tracks, these tracks right here. Again, the, piss, the uh, PEZ dispenser can be seen in many of my other videos. Um, it runs along these tracks right here, 
runs up to the base and uh oh really runs up and is put right here at which point is uh when the piston's put up this block moves up one and then is pushed forward activating it here which uh, is pretty interesting if you ask me sorry about that I had to make a uh, yeah, quick little fix but yeah you can see the minecart will arrive right here on this empty block a piston bullet will bring this block up to this level and this block right here will push forward pushing the minecart along this track and then to here at which point it will be braked when I enter the minecart it the uh, the minecart will be or sorry the track will be powered again and then I will go along the path to my exit oh. as for my return I have a two unpowered blocks basically this one acts as a brake and this is where it stops um, right here there is a uh, you can kinda see it there's a there's a um, stone slot or sorry a stone pressure point here so when I exit the minecart I hit the pressure point activating these rails causing the minecart to go back into the dispenser so at this point in time I'll give you a bit better idea of the piston action so I'm gonna hit this pressure point without getting the minecart because it's faster that way so I get inside and you can see the minecart arrive and get pushed out by the pre uh, by the piston sorry for the lag there my computer's been a little off today and since I'm not in the minecart this remains powered and it just goes simply to exit. Um, we'll run it one last time with me inside the minecart to summon it. So I walk over, hop in the minecart, activate the pressure point. Minecart arrives, gets called over to the destination point. I enter the minecart. Plate becomes repowered because the inverter is no longer triggered, and it is returned to its final destination. Um, that's about it, everybody. I'll be giving a very in-depth tutorial as of tomorrow. For tonight, I'm having some technical issues, and my FPS is much lower than it should be, so it's not great for recording. But that being said, I really hope you all enjoyed this. I hope some people can find some good use out of this. I really like how the invisible arrivals using pistons. This new patch has brought, a, brought on a lot of new cool things. Uh, I've been really looking for a good way to use pistons to summon minecarts in your base, and pushing it up and pushing it into a power track, I think, is the best way to do it. And, um, yeah, this being said, uh, you know, bringing stuff through fours is really cool, but I really hope you all enjoyed it. I really hope you all get some use out of it. Um, have a great 4th of July, everyone. Good night.